Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Let's learn from number 67 of this Kyoten, words to stop you from falling to hell. And I quote, One time I saw Christian and Muslim armies fighting in the desert. It was a crusades war. Both armies were swallowed into a bowl of hot sand. A pterosaur, 30 meters wide, appeared in the sky and blew fire from its mouth, scorching the soldiers of both armies. Number 67, I quote again. One time I saw Christian and Muslim armies fighting in the desert. It was a crusades war. Both armies were swallowed into a bowel of hot sand. A pterosaur, 30 meters wide, appeared in the sky and blew fire from its mouth, scorching the soldiers of both armies. Thank you very much. Whew, all right. Um, so this is specifically from the Crusades War. And depending on what knowledge you have or the person you are, you may think many different things from this. But for me, uh, what came to my mind is why do some people go to heaven even if they were in a war? And why do some people fall to hell after being in a war? Uh, because not everyone, Master has taught us, will go to hell if you killed someone during war. That is because your commander forced you to and you had to do it. That's one. And two, because you have to fight sometimes to save your nation, to save your country. If a dictator in a huge country, a hegemonic country, uh, comes and invades your nation, and if these soldiers are going to rape and kill the, your, um, you know, uh, the women and the children, then you have to fight for your country. So not all people go to hell. Then what separates the people go to heaven or hell? Well, I think like um, one time Master said that if you are in a war and if your heart is filled, just filled, 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 full of anger and animosity, then you can end up winding up in hell. But um, if you fought for like a holy purpose, then you won't. So that's the general thing that came to my mind that I wanted to share with my listeners here on this channel. But uh, going back to the Crusades War, it's sad, right? Christians and Muslim armies, they're fighting for God. They're fighting for the Holy Land. And both sides believe in God. Unfortunately, a lot of them still ended up in hell. We really have to stop this animosity between these two religions. Now, there was this interesting meme that I heard from one of our members yesterday. That there was a meme saying that, you know how there's this huge conflict going on in the Middle East right now? There was a meme saying, why don't we just re replace the Holy Land somewhere else? And then these wars will be gone. I thought that's a great idea because that's already happened. El Kantare, who is Allah, Elohim, and the father of Jesus Christ, was born in Japan. In Tokushima, Japan. And we have a Holy Land there. So replacing, removing, or revamping the place of the Holy Land, I think is a great idea. Uh, we really must bring a halt, stop this unnecessary animosity. Wars begin because of animosity. Hatred is at the root of war. So we need teachings that overrides these scriptures, the Old Testament, the New Testament, and also the Quran. That is the laws of the sun. This overrides it, this replaces it, and it is the new teachings that come purely from God himself. Uh, those are the thoughts I had. What did you think? Please your thoughts in the comment section. See you tomorrow. Bye.